And then comes this subtle, subtle, constant state of bliss. But it's very subtle. It can just burst, but once you recognize it, it's constantly there. There's these bubbles of bliss pops up. You don't know, all of a sudden you start laughing. You don't know, all of a sudden you're just feeling like, wow, all is really well. I don't really have a problem. This feeling comes that life is exactly, life is perfect with all the screwed up stuff that you observe you start to see like oh it's all happening in perfection and there's nothing wrong but it all go ahead there there was a part two to my question i get um i totally understand and i appreciate you um for responding uh, so not from don't i'm not looking it from the point of being the observer say you are the actual person who's in a position of say some physical infliction of pain okay or how how does one relate to it if you're in that position where you're being afflicted by pain physically how right. do you transcend that into this space <laughs> right exactly well, the pain, let's say I'm, I'm in pain physically. So am I in pain physically every moment of my life? Uh, I'm going to have to mute everybody for just a moment. You guys? Yeah. Am I in pain every moment in my life or pain comes and goes and even if I'm in pain all the time, pain is always happening in now, in this moment. So, and the body is, our bodies are designed, they're going to get older, they're gonna get uglier, they're gonna deteriorate, and ultimately the body is going to die. And that's a very natural process of third dimension so it's a given now understanding this part of it and admitting this part of it comes to this one question you're asking me that okay here is somebody is in pain all the time and how does this awareness and this teaching will help with constant pain now, the constant pain, it's, I, now, if I'm really here in this moment, I'm only here in this moment. Now, the story, most people bring a story with them that of their pain, whatever that is. There's a story coming with it. It's like a compartment of a train attached to this is coming to now. But in now, I can experience pain without the story. There's no story. I just, something's hurting right now. But I don't have a story attached to it. And when I just come into this moment that I'm having pain in this moment, and I don't have a story with it. No matter what that is, it could be like 20 years, 15 years of a back pain issue that it's been constant, I understand. But in the moment, in this fresh moment that is only here, it's brand new. It doesn't have a story. It's just an experience of pain in this moment in my body. So when you switch, and you bring the awareness to it, the awareness is fully aware that there is, in this moment, an experience of pain is happening, but there is, there is no past to it. 
and also there is no future to it. So there is no guarantee it's going to be like that. And there is no story from it that it's been happening for years. It's simply right now. And in that, it's interesting that a solution will appear, whatever that solution is, whether you pick up some medication or the pain disappears or it shifts to something else. But when you're just fully present in this moment with it and you're not in either places, all of a sudden something shifts because there is no longer this story that the mind has created of poor me or I'm in pain or there is no solution for me and I've been going through this thing and I've seen everyone on the planet and no one can help me is just simply an expression an experience of pain in that moment but it's not related to you to you. You're simply aware of a, an, an expression of pain happening, but you don't have a story. It's not something happening to you. So in that shift, you become free from it, even though the body is experiencing the pain, but it's not affecting you. Okay. So the body is like experience in the pain but not the, the, observer, not the observer the the body is experiencing the pain in that moment and also the body experiences no pain in the moment you know the body goes through different stages sometimes experiencing it sometimes not experiencing it it affects the nervous system but you become free from it because you start to realize it has no power over who you are. It doesn't matter how much pain it goes through. It doesn't touch your ability to observe it. It doesn't touch your ability to be aware of it. It can increase or decrease, but your sense of I am your sense of presence does not get affected by it. So, and if you keep your attention on the sense of I am, instead of I am the body and I'm suffering, you bring your attention on this place, then a disconnection happens. Does it Thank make you. any? You're welcome. It makes, it makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. I'm just um, trying to get a, a physical look at it to say that um, from my understanding of what you're, you just explained is like the, the body would be that um, third dimensional um, way of which the universe, I guess, is expressing itself. And fifth dimension would be like the engine or the fuel, the observer then. So it's really not that that I am not the body, but I'm really the observer in it. And yes. so whatever is happening to it, it's not happening to me. It's like controlling this thing from a remote location. Yes, it's because what is happening to it, even though your nervous system is, is affected, mm -hmm. you know, you, you, there's nothing you can do not to feel it. If I have some pain, I can't deny it's not there. I'm aware of it. But does it affect my awareness? Do, do I, am I going through periods of day that I'm no longer aware? My awareness remains the awareness.